This is the Olanza G95 GoPro Hero 9 Black Metal Vlogging Cage. Let's open it up and test it out. Before I'm gonna start though, quick disclaimer, Yolanda did send me this product completely for free for a video review on my YouTube channel, but this video is not sponsored. And also, I'm going to do a giveaway for one of these cages. If you want to know more information about the giveaway, go to the end of the video. I'm going to leave timestamps down below where you can find the giveaway information. With that being said, Let's start. So this is what you get inside the package, the GoPro Hero 9 black cage, you get stickers, you get this vlog master plan thing from Yulanzi, you also get this mount, a GoPro mount to screw at the bottom of the cage, and you also get two uh, Allen keys to screw in the screws or remove anything from the cage if you want to. This cage will cost you 50 US dollars uh, for the GoPro Hero 9 black, which is not cheap, but if you want to vlog a lot with your GoPro Hero 9 Black, in my personal opinion, it's well worth the price. I've been using this cage on my GoPro Hero 7 Black, as you can see, this is also from Milanzi. I've been using this cage for about a year, maybe a year and a half, something like that, and I've been really, really happy with this thing because it allows me to mount a GoPro microphone adapter. It's also cooling down the GoPro Hero 7 Black, and also I can mount filters if I want to, although I have some scoff marks in here, so maybe now I can't really, but it's protecting my GoPro, I can vlog with it, I can mount a microphone in here, I can mount a light in here if I want to, I have quick access for the buttons, for the screen, and it's been working really well for me. Of course, if you want to purchase this cage, I'm going to have a link down below in the description. Before I'm going to put the GoPro Hero 9 Black inside this cage, let me measure the weight because this is alloy, it can be pretty heavy. Wow, 201 grams with the mount and the screws, 206 grams, 207 grams, which is not lightweight. But again, if you want to protect your GoPro, vlog with it a lot, it's well worth it. The GoPro itself is 159, so the cage is a little bit heavier than the GoPro. Okay, so in order to put the GoPro Hero 9 Black inside, I will have to move the side door. Let's do that. It's very, very simple and easy, as you can see. Remove that, and now let's put the GoPro Hero 9 Black inside the cage. Right. So also before I can put the GoPro Hero 9 Black inside, I need to remove this door on the side. And the GoPro now is inside. Let's close the door. So this is how the GoPro Hero 9 Black looks inside this cage. You can see the screen. This filter mount blocks the screen just a little bit on the side here. Here on the right side we have an access for the USB-C port and also for the battery. We can remove this door if you want to. It's a little bit hard. And we can remove the battery, replace the battery, put it back in and then close this door again. Very easy and simple. Let's see how much of screen access we have. Everything is accessible, very nice. I can do everything that I want. Nothing is blocking the screen. And here on the left side, we have an access for the power button. Very easy. We also have a cold shoe mount in here to mount a light or something like that. I don't know if I mentioned it, but you also have a thread at the top and also a cold shoe mount at the top, which you can remove. This thing is a cold shoe mount extension in case if your microphone is gonna show in the frame, you can put it a little bit higher. 
I'm probably not going to use it. And also you have access for the record button. Okay, now let me put the GoPro microphone adapter with the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Although at the moment you cannot really use the GoPro microphone adapter with the GoPro Hero 9 Black because GoPro needs to update the firmware to enable this option. They're gonna do it next month in November. So let me put the GoPro microphone adapter inside. It's very easy to put. Takes like a second. And this is how the whole package looks with my mini microphone. The best microphone on the market for GoPro cameras, in my personal opinion, the Heritage ETM001. This is a very compact package. One thing that I noticed though now is that this GoPro microphone adapter is sliding around here, which is not happening with the cage for the Hero 7. So check it out. Once I'm gonna put the GoPro microphone adapter in the Hero 7, it stops. You cannot push it any further because you have like a thing in here to stop it from moving around. But on this cage, uh, the GoPro microphone adapter moves around, but that means also that you can put it from any direction, which is gonna be a lot easier to mount the GoPro microphone adapter inside this cage. So I don't know exactly how much is gonna annoy me, but I don't think it really is going to be that much annoying. Let's see for a second the total weight now with the cage, GoPro Hero 9 Black, a microphone adapter, and the mini microphone. 362, 363 grams. By the way, on the bottom you have a quarter inch thread. That means you'll be able to mount it on a regular tripod. But also if you want to, you can mount this GoPro uh, adapter mount to mount it on tripod to support GoPro mount and other GoPro accessories. I'm going to mount this thing now. Now this is how the complete package looks with the GoPro Hero 9 Black, the metal cage, microphone adapter, the mini microphone from Heritage, and also this Yulanzi Shorty Clone uh, tripod. Feels a little bit heavier than my GoPro Hero 7 Black, but I think it's gonna be fine for vlogging. It's not gonna be too bad. By the way, I'm also going to leave a link down below for this Yulanzi tripod if you want to check it out. And also I'm going to leave a link down below for the Heritage microphone if you want to purchase it for yourself. Let's see for a moment how this rig looks with the Rode Video Micro microphone. Just like so. If you want a shotgun microphone on your rig, this is how it looks. Looks pretty professional. At the moment, I don't have a dead cat on my Rode Video Micro, I just have a foam uh, windscreen. But if you want to, you can remove this windscreen and put the dead cat. And this is basically the perfect uh, vlogging setup. One more thing that I want to try is to put one of these free will filters on my GoPro Hero 9 Black and see how easily I can put it inside this cage without having to remove this uh, filter mount from Yulanzi. Every time before you take out your GoPro, you have to remove this side door as well. Remove that, remove that, and now you can remove your GoPro. It feels really snug inside, so it's not moving anywhere without this door even. It's really, really secure inside. Let me now remove this lens filter this is the free will nd filter let's mount it on the gopro hero 9 black now it's on and now let's see if i can put it inside okay it fits fits with no problems but you can also remove this filter thread if you don't want to use it i'm probably going to remove it just to save a little bit of weight and also, if I will remove it, I will have access, more access to the front facing screen. Okay, so I think this is pretty much it about the Yulanzi G95 metal vlogging cage for the GoPro Hero 9 Black. I am definitely going to use this cage to vlog with my GoPro. And also, I think it's really worth the price if you're serious about vlogging with your GoPro camera. Like I said, I've been using this cage uh, from Yulanzi on my GoPro Hero 7 Black for about a year, year and a half, something like that. 
and I've been extremely happy with the results. It's protecting my camera, keeps it cool, and allows me to mount the GoPro microphone adapter to get better audio. And also, if I want to, I can mount other accessories such as lights and so on. So I highly recommend this cage if you are serious about vlogging with your GoPro. And by the way, Yolanzi also sent me a vlogging case made out of plastic. It's on the way, I still don't have it on me. So soon I'm going to make a comparison between the metal cage and also the plastic cage for the GoPro Hero 9 Black from Yolanzi. Stay tuned for that. And now let's talk about the giveaway. Now I'm gonna make it as simple as possible because I don't really like to complicate things. If you want to win the metal vlogging case for the GoPro Hero 9, all you have to do, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, like this video, and also comment down below where are you from and why you subscribed to my YouTube channel. Very, very simple. Now, once I will reach 3,200 subscribers on my YouTube channel, at the moment I have 2,800, so once I reach 3,200 subscribers, I will announce the giveaway winner for this cage. I'm going to use the YouTube Random Comment Picker website to announce the winner, so make sure to comment down below where are you from and why you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to announce the winner on my Instagram via story. so once I will reach 3,200 subscribers, I will make a story about the winner and I will contact the winner and send him this cage from Yulanzi. So, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.